What's going on guys? Penapants HD here and welcome to the fourth Disney yeah. podcast type video. So the table in front of us is completely different except Chip and Dale statue and Dumbo and this like the centerpiece. And there's another thing that we added that we started decorating for this video. So see if you guys can find that, comment below, point it out, and yeah. This video we are gonna be talking about is the new Avatar ride, Flight of Passage, worth it? So this ride commonly has like 300 minute waits during, Crazy. like if you rope drop there with extra magic hours, you could still wait an hour or more. If you get there at nine, you could still wait two or three hours. So it's a really long line. It's a new ride. And honestly, I feel like, is it worth it? It depends how long the wait is. If it's like 300 minutes, then no, nothing's worth five that. Hours. Nothing's worth that. Like maybe if you live in Florida and you live 10 minutes outside Disney World, then. And you go there like every weekend, then yeah, maybe. Maybe. But, but. Uh, if, if you're there for like a few days and you don't want to spend like half your day waiting for one ride. Yeah. Then you can just come back and do it next time you come because it probably won't be as crazy like in mm -hmm. a year we say we think it's worth about two to three hours of waiting in line for which for me i never i i'm like against waiting in line so for an hour yeah i won't i won't go be i won't go in a standby line if it's like 45 minutes yeah but this ride that's for your first time this ride is super cool i don't want to like spoil it but i'm just going to kind of give some of the key points it's kind of like a simulator ride. It's kind of like soaring. Except you like have like, your own thing, and it has all these like little details, and it's super cool and like. They have 4D. They have smell. Yeah. They have wind blowing in your face. It's, it's super cool, and like the first time, it's breathtaking, and it's yeah. kind of like surreal. Like for a little bit, if you don't look back or look around or look down and find little flaws in the system. You can, like, it actually feels like you're kind of there. Yeah, which is the video is really, really, cool. really nice. It's just... Yeah, definitely at least a 4K screen. Yeah, but, so, if it's your first time, two to three hours maximum. Yeah. If it's, like... And then, also oh. adding on to that, the first, like, the wait is going to be, uh... It, the queue is actually super cool. Yeah. I waited once when I, uh, rope dropped it. I waited, like, 40 minutes, and... We unfortunately didn't get go in the lab of the queue, which is the coolest part, but the rest of the queue is still super cool. And if you haven't been to Pandora before, while you're outside waiting to get in like the main bulk of the queue, you can look around and see all the cool scenery and stuff. The, uh, the boat ride queue is really cool also. Yeah, the boat ride queue is pretty good. I forgot what it's called. I think it's called the, like a Navi, Navi River Journey. Yeah. That's what it is. So the boat ride... Well, let's finish talking about Flight of Passage before we do extra credit boat ride. We were yet to get severely off topic in one of these videos, so yeah, I mean... We almost did, right there. Yeah, that's that's always good. Alright, so moving on, the first time, two to three hours. I mean, if you really, if you love waiting in lines, then go for it. Well, I, but, I don't know why you, why you would like waiting in lines, but maybe you do. Maybe that's your if thing. You're, if you don't like lines, two to three hours... That's yeah. What basically what we think, and then maybe you should go. At it's open till like midnight every day if you stay on property, so maybe just like pop in the last few minutes. Like maybe stay the main park, the bulk of Animal Kingdom for like till ten when it closes, and then go and ride the river journey, and then look around a little bit maybe get some uh food the like drink there is really good the like special drink and then get in line get on get off go on a bus yeah but, yeah and then after your first ride it's still like i've been on it twice when i went there this summer and it's still really cool it's probably like my third favorite ride but it's still really cool but after the first time i thought it might have been my favorite ride and after the second time i think it's more like my third ride yeah, I've been on it once, and it's probably in my number two or three spot, because it was just, I've only been on it once, and it was just crazy for me. It was like, yeah, 
I was like blown away. It's super cool and it's just like, you can't really explain it. Like, I know when we were about to go on it the first time, a lot, we, my mom was talking about how everyone said it was the best ride ever yeah. and it was worth like a 300 minute wait. I'm like, there's no way, but it actually, like it was insane. I think I heard like cool. every single person who got off for the ride be like, that's my new favorite ride. Yeah. Every single person was like, wow, that's yeah. awesome. It was it was really cool. But an hour and a half, like an hour to an hour and a half after your first ride, this will probably go on until you've ridden it a lot, and then it'll be like your other favorite five rides, however long you want to wait for them. Yeah. It's still really cool, and it's still really fun, but it's not like the same surreal experience. And if you go on it a second time, there's a few things like if you want to look back for a second, that's really cool because the platform is like moving and spazzing and it's kind of funny. Yeah, it looks but I wouldn't weird. do that the first time because it would probably take a little bit away of the experience. So if you want to go on this and you're going to probably have to wait for a little bit because you're probably not going to get a fast pass for it unless you schedule it like a year in advance. Which At 60 days is the max. I know, but like, you know what I'm trying to say. Oh, yeah. You know, I, like, the fast passes go by like that. They're just gone. They're like, boom. Yeah. Like, you gotta get up, like, literally, like, the minute of your reservation, you have to get there and get a fast pass for, like, the third day you're gonna be there. It's crazy. Yeah, you just have to... It's kind of like getting be our guest dinner reservations. Yeah. Which, that's the most popular restaurant. And they have really good potato soup. Overall, good... A good ride to wait maybe yeah. two three hours on for your first time for your second time or anything past that maybe an hour hour, hour and a half hour. at most and um, just gonna like i know i went to universal when i went to florida last time and they have a lot of screen rides and they all made me sick and i felt like i was gonna puke because i get motion sick but this ride i didn't even feel like nauseous at all it was really really cool flight of passage it'll definitely be one of your favorite five rides yeah it's like it's definitely you need to go on it at least yeah once. it's like jaw dropping it has some really cool like tech stuff going on and it, it is kind of thrilling like oddly even though it's just a simulator yeah ride. like when you go when you go straight down yeah that's that and then it's so cool because you have like the wind blowing in your face mm -hmm. but yeah just gonna move on to the Naga river journey if you guys only came for flight of passage then bye i guess but the river journey, uh, it's, it was all right. Maybe for your first time, maybe like 30, 40, 40 30. minutes. Yeah, it's just not it's compared, kinda... compared to, okay, so I went on Flight of Passage, then that, and I was just Same. like, oh, that, yeah. that's not, not. Not, not anywhere near as Like, good. it was the same... I went on it the same day. Like, I went on Flight of Passage, and then so I went and I did some other stuff, then I came back and went on it. I went on, I went from Flight of it Passage wasn't. to... It's tough to be a bug to that, and I was like, oh, I, I'd rather go to... It's tough to be a bug. <laughs> yeah, it's... It's all right. I mean... It has some really cool scenery, and it has two super cool animatronics yeah. that can... They're like... They actually look like they're alive yeah like it's crazy they have really fluid movements but they're probably super expensive because there's sure. only two of them yeah but yeah 30 minutes first time after that you can see if you like it yourself it's kind of my only flaws i have with it is there's no plot with the ride at all yeah there's no like narration yeah it's just really I'm just kind of in a boat quiet the scenery is super cool but it's really slow moving too and you kind of get bored on it i got bored but if you like like slow moving boat rides with cool surroundings you, you it would looks, really it, like it looks story. nice so like yeah so if you don't want to do flight of passion like you have a lot of motion sickness then you could do that it's kind of like it's probably about five minutes of just going through like beautiful scenery yeah. but there's nothing no narration telling you what's going on you're kind of just there one animatronic i think talks and but then one's like, hoo da, hoo da, da. That's what I meant. That's the oh, one that talks. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm going to correct you there. Flight of Passage doesn't make you motion sick. Like, I know, but I'm saying like if someone does. Because oh, like, a grandma was getting, she was getting carted off in a stretcher. Oh, seriously? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, she was like, she had like 
little like tubes going into her. She was like sitting there, and there's like paramedics there. I doubt that's from Flight of Passage, though. Well, she was in the in in the like at at, at the exit of Flight maybe. of Passage. That's weird. Yeah, but I mean, because people are old, so yeah. Can't... Maybe if you're like uh, 95 years old, you shouldn't go on it. Yeah. But if you are not elderly, just go on then it. You can go on. It's it. worth getting sick. <laughs> yes, I think it might be wheelchair accessible. Probably. I think it is. They probably have like a special one yeah. in one of the little areas. But yeah, I think that's gonna do it. One last point we're gonna toss. I'm gonna toss in is Pandora. Even if you guys don't want to wait like thirty minutes to an hour to get on, like at a short time to get on any of the rides, you should still go there and check it out. It looks really cool. Yeah, it looks. And I'd suggest uh, I did this watching the movie before you go. Because it just makes it so much cooler. Because you understand what the scenery is. It's actually really like Easter eggs. And it's really like cool if you know what the plot of the movie is. Maybe get there at like 9 or like 11. Yeah. If Don't, you can... Do not go... Midday. No. That's just the worst thing you can do. That could be like more than... That could be more than a 300 minute wait. If it's like... Dude, imagine going there midday at Christmas. Oh. That'd be like... Or opening day, midday. That'd be so long. Yeah. But Just don't do that. Yeah, don't go midday. If you're staying on property, maybe try to get there and get to the ride. If you don't want to get up and get there at 8, get there at like 8.50. You'll still have to wait like an hour or two, but you'll miss the 9 o'clock people, which add yeah. like another 2 or 3 hours maybe. So, Yeah. Make sure if you guys go to Disney World, definitely check out Pandora and definitely go up on Flight of Passage. Uh, Navi River Journey doesn't really have that long of a wait unless you're there during the middle of the day. Like even at like nine, it's only like yeah thirty minutes and like nine thirty it can get up. The to highest like I saw 100. it was like seventy oh. when I went. Yeah, but definitely check out both those rides. Flight of Passage is worth two to three hours of waiting, which is really high. But yeah, thanks everyone for watching. Make sure to, if you're watching this far, comment below. I know I said this at the start of the video, but the new thing we're decorating, just to see if you could find it and like jog your memory if you forgot. And yeah, we'll see you guys all in the next video. Goodbye.